in this video i would be demonstrating the process of digitizing a feature using polygon so let us start this is my qgis 3.10 version this is the main interface of qgis software so i will execute the digitization process of a feature using a polygon so first we need to open a georeferenced map so i will first open a map that is a georeferenced one to execute the digitization process so i will click on open data source manager i will browse to open my file that is a georeferenced one the file is in desktop new folder i will open it and i will select georeference underscore bakura because this is my georeferenced file now i will open it then add and close so i have got my georeference file on which i will execute my digitization so first what we need to uh, know that we will digitize these blocks and these blocks will be digitized using polygon so we will first create a layer of boundary then what we need to do is that we will go on layer then i will click on create layer then i will select new shape file layer i will open it on clicking new shape file layer a window opens where the first is file name i will have to give the address or the folder destination where the file will be saved so i will browse here now i want to save my file or the layer in desktop where there is a new folder i will open that and i will give name block block boundary this is the name of my layer block boundary save then file encoding i will leave it as system in geometry type i will select polygon from the drop down arrow polygon is selected now it is asking for a projection additional dimensions here i will change this projection this was the projection on which or according to which the file was georeferenced but while digitization the projection will be changed now what will be the projection i will select from this my projection will be epsg 32645 which is wgs 84 utm zone 45 north now i will select this projection this is universal transverse marketer i will select this projection by selecting this projection i ensure that all my measurements on the map will be in meters so i select it and i press on okay now in the new field i need to give the name of the layer the name of the layer is block bound the d so it is not taking so i will leave it as block bound type is text data because the name of any block is in text so leave it as text data length will be 80 just add it to field list then i will click on okay now my block boundary layer is being shown in the layer panel i just need to change the symbol now i will click on it and i will go to properties a window opens and i would like to select this this one hashed black for my uh, block boundary symbol i will apply it and i will press on okay so my block boundary layer is activated now with the selected properties then i will 
start digitizing my blog. I will start on with this one Kutubu. This is the first block which I have selected for my digitization. I will just zoom in the map. Then I will go to this option toggle editing and I will press on this add polygon feature. I click on this then I will start my digitization process. The digitization process will start from this point and it will end at this point. So I will go on clicking. That is the left click. I will drag it. Then again I will press on add feature. I would like to see whether I am going in the right direction or not. I will just zoom out. Then I will again zoom in. Then again I will continue with my digitization. I am just clicking on the boundary. So again I have to press on this add feature. These are all the left clicks. I am almost reaching the end point of this boundary. Again, I will zoom it out in order to see whether I am going in the right direction or not. Yes, my direction is right. So I am continuing with my clicks. Digitization is nothing but clicking on the map. As of now, which is the process which is going on here. So next, I'm just reaching my destination. That is the end point. I will just go over this point and press right click. Here, a window opens, block boundary with feature attributes id is one this is my id one i give it or assign it as id one and in the block bounds i just type the name of the block Utulpur. okay so the, my first layer is digitized my first polygon is digitized now i want to save it I'll save it then I will digitize another boundary. Uh, one thing I would like to mention here is that uh, all these are overlapping boundaries. So we need to find out a tool so that uh, these overlaps are well executed. For that we need to go for a tool that is a snapping option. Anyway, I will enable snapping here. Then I will go to this vertex segment. So I will choose vertex because on every click I am generating a vertex or a node on this map. So my snapping will be from one node to another or from one vertex to another. Here pixel is already there. So I will select pixel and here I will select the options enable snapping on intersection. I will click on it. Then I will start digitizing my next block which is adjacent to this Kotulpur block. I will again press on this add polygon feature. Then I will start my digitization. As snapping is enabled, 
so as i put my mouse on any node it will be highlighted so this point is highlighted this is my starting point and i am just beginning from this this is my next polygon layer which i am going on digitizing and these are all the left peaks on every click i am generating a node or a vertex and so my snapping has been enabled from one vertex to another vertex this will be clear as i will digitize the common boundary of kotulpur and joypur so i'm just in a few minutes i am moving on to the common boundary between kotulpur and joypur so here i will get to know why snapping is been enabled here so this is my first note Next, next. This, as I move on the mouse over this boundary, this gets automatically highlighted when it come across a node or a vertex. Next is this one. The advantage of snapping is that, in case of overlap, there is no gap between the boundaries. To avoid that, we are using this snapping tool. if there is a gap then my digitization will be an imperfect one okay this is my one this is my one so as it encounters the node it gets highlighted so we uh, just have to follow this one just move the mouse over this common boundary and it will get digitized it will fall over a node it falls over a node next next just reaching my destination in a short while so this is my next one this is one we are not and this is this is my fin finishing note so i am right clicking on it so i get this again a window this window again appears in id i will assign two and in block boundary i will type as joy pur okay then i will press on this Save layer it is. So I will just zoom out this map. So two block boundaries have been digitized. Now, and so far we have seen the digitization of a block, and then we have seen the digitization of another block with a common boundary. Now. Uh, i will uh, explain how we can attach attributes to this two layers i will select this block boundary and i will press right click then i will open attribute table so another window appears here there i i see that uh, there is one editable toggle editing mode is on i need to I just press on this in toggle multi edit mode i again click on this by clicking on this my these 
this window becomes editable actually. Mm. When I press on one, I get to know that is ID one. It is block bound Kothulpur. When I press two, it is uh, ID two Jaipur. Now I want to know the uh, or I want to add a new um, table to this or a new column to this attribute table. That is area. I want to know the area of these two uh, bound uh, block boundaries. So I will just click on this option open field calculator a window appears then I will create an output field name that is area now area is always in decimal generally so I will select decimal number real output field length I will select 15 and in precision I will select 5 then I want to find out the area of this uh, two polygons. Now I will click on geometry, double click on it, dollar area. Now in output preview it is showing this is my area. So just I will click on OK. So my area the column is added and I will press save. Another window appears, I will press on yes. Now, now when I press on, again this has become inactive, so I need to press on it. When it is 1, it is Kothulpur and when it is 2, it is Joypur. And in Kothulpur, this has not been updated. So what I need to do is that I will again go to open field calculator. I will edit this Kothulpur area open field calculator I will update the existing one because my column now already exists I will click on area and then I will click on geometry select double uh, dollar area by double clicking on it and press on ok now see my area of Kotulpur is being shown and my area of Joypur is also being shown now these areas are all in square meters but I want to find out the area in square kilometer. So what I will do? I will click on 1. This first I need to find out the area of Kothulpur in square kilometers. I will select it then I will go to open field calculator. I will select update existing field. I will select area. I will double click on geometry. I will double click on dollar area and then I will put a function that is divide this dollar area by 10 lakhs or 1 million because if we need to convert square meters into square kilometers we will uh, divide it by 1 million then press on ok now I will click on save again I will go to this Unless it is activated, it will show nothing. So this is the area of Kothulpur. Next, this is the area of Joypur. Again, I need to convert it into square kilometer. What I will do? I will again press open field calculator. I will click on update existing field. I will select area. I will double click on geometry. I will double click on dollar area and divide this by 1 million to convert it into square kilometer then I will press on ok then I will click on save yes it is asking that I if I want to apply any changes yes so now I will see I will click on toggle multi edit mode I will click on 1 so this is the area of Kothulpur in square kilometers and this is the area of Joypur in square kilometer so my two polygons has been have been digitized and the attribute or the information that i wanted to attach to these two has also been attached that is the area of these two blocks in square kilometers has been done so this is my entire process of digitization where i have digitized a polygon a layer by using a polygon and attached geographical information to it.